I'm Roxanne Jervis, Canadian artist, and I'm going to do a series of videos on easy tips for perspective of a rectangular building. The first tip is to make an angle mat. And you're going to say, what's an angle mat? <laughs> angle mat is something that I actually devise to give my students to help them in their perspective. And it's just a couple pieces of mat board with a hole drilled in the top. Then you take a brass fastener, <laughs> not a fattener, but a fastener, and put it through the hole, pulling the, pulling the uh, butterfly at the back, and then use some pliers to make a nice tight squeeze so that when you move this mat around, it won't not flop. And that's tip number one. Tip number two is how do you use an angle mat? One of the things when you're using an angle mat is pretend or imagine that you're putting this on a glass window so that the mat will be perfectly vertical, flat. If you angle it back or you twist it, the angles when you go to draw them will not be accurate. The next thing you do is you put your arm out as far as you can, looking through the one eye only, and you take this, as I said before, perfectly vertically. Put this up against the vertical that you're going to do the measurement of. And I'm going to do the measurement of the painting on the far wall. And I'm going to put this side of the painting and have the top right corner of the painting, or the left corner from how you're looking at it, on the top there. And then this is going to be swiveling up and down to sit on the top of the frame there. And then angle this joining the edge of the frame. There we go. What you do with this is you go to your, your canvas or you go to your paper and you make sure you put this on your paper perfectly vertical parallel to the edge. And then you draw your vertical line and you this line and because draw the line here and the line here and that will give you the top angle of the picture on the wall. And that's tip number two. You do the same thing for the bottom. You can measure it from the bottom as well, vertically. There's your angle, put it on here. Those will help you with your perspective on a house. It works much better when it's further away. I can look out my back window and I can see the house back there, put my up the, the side wall and the roof, go to my paper, there's my side wall, there's my roof. I'm going to give you another demonstration of how this angle mat works on a building. I found a Monet painting here. It's uh, fairly dark, but what you can do with this, if you're taking it from a photograph that you have, is you can actually use your angle mat to get the proper dimension. Here is the outside wall of the building. And if I wanted to get this first roof line, put the corner where the swivel piece and the vertical join, and then I move this up or down. Now, it's a bit low, so then you raise your angle mat there. And there, when you go to draw, is the exact angle of the outside wall and the roof. So that little bit will help you. You can just then move that onto your drawing exactly like I showed you earlier. My next video will actually talk to you about eye line. Subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.